Good day and welcome to your exciting moment on TV, 360 Sport. A lot of people have been giving us some um, feedbacks as regards to how much the glue to the TV when 360 Sport comes on. Today is one of those um, editions where you're looking forward to getting the best from the world of um, football. Let's go straight to you now, to Chicago, where we have three times World Cup um, um, player. That's talking about um, Super Falcons patient Avery. She was part of um, the historical quarter final team in 1999. She was also, not forgetting, she was also in um, the Olympics talking about the Australian 2000 um, Olympic and um, the USA 1999 and um, Sweden 1994. And the third appearance was in China in 2003. Um, good day from Lagos. It's good to have you, patient Avery in the studio morning. right from Chicago. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, ma? I'm blessed. I'm fine. How are you guys doing? We are fine in the city <laughs> of, um, of Lagos. And I've been keeping up with the COVID um, over there in Chicago. Yeah. It's, um, it's coming back gradually, but, you know, it's not like the same, you know. Okay. Life is just something else right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are all keeping safe. Yes, let me, let me yeah. straight to um, my questions. Your name we will not be forgotten when we mention the Super Falcons, when we mention the World Cup. Patient Avery will be a name that is always cemented in the mind of <laughs> not just football lovers, but in the history of this country internationally in Nigeria. But fortunately, we've not been hearing so much uh, but tell us a bit about um, life after football. How much do you really miss the game that gave you so much of glory? <laughs> well, life after football is um, something else. I really miss the game. Um, when, I'm, sure, when I'm going, I want to see anybody that is playing soccer or kids. I just want to play with them just to, you know, or just to do some little stuff in my backyard sometimes, you know. Well, it's not very easy. Like when you love something that you you left for a long time, it's just sticking your head. I wish when you see them playing, oh, you're like, oh, I wish I'm playing right now. But you know, it's just one of those days that you just want to like, you know, hang your boots and do what you you want to do for yourself and your family. You know. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Uh, tell us a bit. Uh, without um, how you started. Um, looking back home how you got connected football and the next thing you are in front of the screen of the old world um talking about watching at watching you at the world cup tell us a bit of how you started and how you get co got connected to the super falcons well i started playing soccer um when i was in worry nigeria where i used to be an athletic i do track and feed back then for old bender state so I, I joined soccer from just like friends. We're going for our own practice. Uh, when I joined soccer, I loved the game and I started playing. I played for Ufuma Babes Worry. From Ufuma Babes Worry, I went to Lagos to play for Prince Ejegere Babes. That is where I got invited to the national team. I started playing for the national team. I played uh, internationally and went to the World Cup, three World Cup and one Olympics. And I uh, went back to Nigeria. They invited me for the World, the World uh, Indoor Game. I came back to the U.S. to play. Then I uh, went back to Nigeria. I came back again. And finally, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me come back here and just take it as my base. And since then, I've been staying here in Chicago by myself. <laughs> yes, um, interesting. Your, your, your contemporaries, um, we, we know also that you're also part of um, some of the N Women Nations Cup winning side. Yep. Yeah, yes. I played the Nations Cup, which we won several times. You can't compare. <laughs> okay, interesting. You can't compare the Falcon before and the Falcon now. You know, there's a huge difference. You know, everything with their style of play and their with their style of coaching too. You know, so that's the only thing I can say for now. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, now we looking at this. 
uh, career must have started from um, athletics to where you hung your boot must have been a space of almost more than 10 years. Tell us your, the highlight of this career. What is those days, those moments you will not forget? Whether in the jersey of Ufoma Babes or Prince, the jagged teams in Lagos or the green, white, green jersey. How do you feel? Um, what are your highlights of this um, moment in your career? Oh my God, it's a lot. Hmm. But um, my highlight is when I played uh, against um, Brazil, when they gave me a red card, that one is like stick up there. I will never forget that day, you know, because uh, we were down 3 nothing, uh, came back 3-3. Three, three, and it's like, um, I was, a, I mean, uh, the woman of the game, but, you know, just like a strategy, she just wanted to get me out of the, out of the game. So after giving me that red card, we went into penalty shootout and we lost that game. But anyway, I still win a woman of the match, yeah. which I, we always remember. That was one of my highlights, which I will never forget. Okay. G growing up in Worry, were your parents so much interested in you being an athlete or a footballer or they got that support from onset? Most people don't get the support. Was your story in the similar line of parents saying no or parents were supporting from the onset? Yeah, from the upset, my dad, my mom, they didn't really support me like that. But um, after some time, they don't have choice, you know. <laughs> they just had to, like, you know, support me anywhere I want my career to go. So. Well, well, well said. Um, I'm sure your parents are really so much happy for the fact that at least they supported you at the end of the day. Now, back to my question you almost answered. The Super Falcons, a lot of people keep saying that uh, even the Super Eagles, that the past is always better yeah. than the present. And same things can be attributed to the Super Falcons. Tell me, the Super Falcons of your um, contemporary and now, what are the major difference or what do you think they have in common? Uh, then, you know, um, there is a huge difference when I used to play, we come out there and play with our own art. I don't know, maybe because of social media or maybe because of, you know, they're making more money now. They, they've been exposed, you know, I don't know. But then we're trying to like go out there and see the world and be able to make something out. But I don't know because then we'll come out like this is do or die. We had to like play our art hard, but now nah, I don't know maybe if it's the coaches or maybe if something is wrong with some of the I mean they need to, I mean I don't think there is much understanding with themselves. You know, you have to like understand each other before you can be able to go forward in anything that you're doing, you know. I don't wanna like say something that okay. is gonna like <laughs> understand. Yeah, you know? yeah, but but you set this up so much and um one of thing has been always um bone of contention, it has to do with foreign coach for the Super Falcons. A lot of people say, stakeholders say, we don't need this foreign coach for Super Falcons. We've won this. Before Deneby also came, who did not even do more than the local coach. What's your point of view? Does it really matter if it's the local coach or the foreign coach? Or you think the local coach should continue with the Super Falcons? Well, for me, I don't think they need a foreign coach. There are a lot of coaches back there. Why are they going to school for coaching? You know, they just have to, like, pick the best that will be able to make these girls uh, play. I mean, I mean, they will be able to coach these girls very well to be able to do something for Nigeria. I mean, getting a foreign coach is a waste of money. That money that they're giving to foreign coach, why can't they give it to the girls or maybe use it for something better for 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 other stuff for the team, you know? Because sometimes those foreign coaches that you bring, they don't understand our style of play. You know, they don't really understand. So they should they should they should I mean they should just stick on to the Nigerian coaches that they have there. They have a lot of coaches that went to I I mean NILs to do coaching course. So I don't know. There's a lot of players here that is coaching here too. Most of the Nigerian, uh, I don't know if they if they come here to pick them, they're still gonna be foreign coach. Like <laughs> Messi there, 
that is coaching me i'm not coaching you know i'm just doing my own job here you know yeah. interesting <laughs> so there are a lot of them that is coaching that you look for opportunity and be able to pick one of them go back to nigeria and coach these guys because they are really really good okay yeah we, we're going to go on a quick break um don't go away uh patient avery and uh, you're going to come back and tell, tell us some of um, the moments uh, in your career so don't go away it's um okay. if you're just joining us we'll live with um, patient avery three times world cup appearance for the super falcons one superlative attacker in our days. Not forgetting she's won many of the Women's Nation Championship for Nigeria. And one of the moments was 2000 in, um, at the Olympics where she did so much um, for her. If you go ask everybody about Patient Ave, you definitely give us the memories of the best of um, football. We go on this quick, when we come back, we still have Patient Ave talking to us live from Chicago. In the last three years, we have built a multi-purpose center, which is the envy of all in our constituency. And I can tell you that the people who are living there are already enjoying it. Guy, do you think what this man just said is true? See, I seriously doubt. I'm sure it's one of those they are silly lies. And wait, do you know there's a way to find out if these things he's saying is true or not? Ah. This is the construct app. It gives people like us a sure way to track implementation of constituency projects. It gives valid and verified information on location of projects, amounts allocated, amounts funded, the level of job done, and even the profiles of concerned legislators. You and I can post directly on this app. Are you serious? This is the go-to app. If you want to know how our commonwealth is being expanded by the government. Wow. Let's even see if what this man said is true. Show me. The Construct app is developed by other people in Nigeria with support from USAID and is available on both Google Play Store and Apple Store. Eh, and it's true. <laughs> of course, I told you. On Deji360, we don't just ask the questions. What is wrong with amending the constitution the way uh, the, the National Assembly members have been doing it? We seek answers. The constitution is constituent. Our problem is not um, lack of laws. Our problem is lack of the willpower to implement our laws. Answers that provide clarity. While we negotiate, we should try to make it a point that the girls must be complete. The clarity you need the to make informed judgment so that you can make the right decision and take action. People are saying it is you politicians that are responsible for this, that you are the reason oh. why this is happening. All these dollars that call themselves governors in this country? I wish we had people like Tony at the National Assembly. God forbid that I go to join that team. Uh, DG 360, providing clarity to issues. That's, um, welcome back. This is uh, Judd Niels. Um, we are live um, from the city of Lagos speaking um, to patient Avery, so, former Super Falcons forward who has um, cemented a name not just in gold, in the art of many football lovers, including myself. That's a uh, patient. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yes, thank you for keeping um, on with us. Are you looking forward to going into coaching? It seems that you are a nurse right now in Chicago. But should we look at on a part-time basis, on a full-time? Will you have anything to do with coaching? Since most of your contemporaries, like you mentioned earlier, are into coaching. Uh, for me, no. Everybody cannot coach, you know. There are some people who want to coach. They can go ahead and do their coaching. But for me, I don't think I'm a coach. <laughs> My name is Patient, but I don't have patience to coach anybody, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but, but as life um, as a nurse, I did, is... yeah, I did, I did some coaching a little bit, coach kids, but not, you know, like up there. What okay. what people are expecting me to go start coaching, like super? No, no, no. Okay. I enjoy what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay, so. I, obviously, I, I know you're a nurse, and um, 
I'm not comparing to Duke Carrier, but I, I know a lot of people know you as a footballer more than a nurse. I, how satisfied um, are you um, in comparing to being a footballer? If you have opportunity, like they do say, you want to come back to life, will you also be a footballer? Oh, yeah. It's something that I love. I would love to play when I come back to life again, you know. <laughs> you, Football is my life. Okay. Kind of, you know. You cannot, you cannot trade that for anything. <laughs> okay. You, you've, you, you've done, scored so many goals and your career as Nations Cup, the World Cup, the Olympics, many, many. You, can you still remember the goals that you've scored that always bring about, oh yes, I think I'm what being called patient average. Can you bring all those memories for us? Um, a lot. I remember some goals I scored against China when, um, during the World Cup. Uh, like a friendly, friendly match, yeah, friendly match. And um, the one that really stick to my head is against England. Okay. You know, we played England. I scored the only goal. Hmm. And when we played Canada too, I scored the only goal. So in Sweden, I think I scored the, I scored the only goal. So there's a lot of goal that really stick to my. Sometimes I, I do forget. Oh, did I? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I <Interesting>. scored. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your contemporaries, um, how, do you, how do you relate to them? That means, which of them do you think also was as talented as you are in your playing days? You mentioned two of them or three who you can say, yes, I'm good, but this person is also good. Um, for now, for the girls of now. No, in your well, own time, in your own time, not I for know, now, in your own time. time. Oh, yeah. own time, I would say, okay, Head to head, Messi Akideo, Inkiro Kosieme, you know, uh, Florence Amagumi. Oh, I love uh, Yinka Kudaisi, okay. Kike Loma Jai, okay. you know, so and so on and so forth, you know. A lot of them, Tela Ombashu, you know. Um, who else again? I'm um, sure there are a lot of them. Patience of Para, okay. Patience of Para, you know. Those are people I really like, enjoying playing with, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, back, back, um, uh, okay, how about now? You know, you've been seeing at home, Super Falcons is playing, you know. It will make you think of your time. So, the present set of players, which of them do you, yes, that these girls are good? Um, the one you can remember presently playing for the Super Falcons. Uh, I can mention... Uh, what's the name again? Uh, Odega is good. Okay. But she really needs to be focused more, you know. Okay. okay. <laughs> She's good. Onome is good. Okay. You know, a bunch of them like that. Yeah, they, I mean, they're good. I cannot start measuring names. I don't measure one or two people names. Okay, Am I getting okay, okay, okay. I understand. That very wonderful set of people. Now, let me not take you back to your earlier question. You said from athletics to football, when you did realize that um, football was meant for you and not athletics, or what discouraged you from athletics to football? Yeah, football, then I was, I mean, for my baby then, they have a lot of women that play, when you go to the training ground, you know, they all singing, happy, dancing, you know. It's different from what I always used to do because then it's only when when there is competition for track, that's the only time I normally like go for practice. But mm -hmm. football is like everyday thing. Every day thing. So I enjoy playing and I mean the re I mean the reason I'm here today or the reason I make me to be like Who good playing this thing of soccer, because I was playing with a lot of guys. Hmm. I played a lot of guys and I enjoy playing, you know, because the speed is already there. Okay, the speed is you there. Come so athletics. that is why I like, really, really picked up really, really, really fast. Okay. Let, my last two questions, the last um, of the questions. Brazil female national team are receiving equal pay. And um, the Brazil, Brazil male national team and also Brazil female national team are receiving the same amount of pay. Do you think that can be possible, or do you encourage such that NFF should be paying the Super Falcons the same amount of money that playing the Super Eagles? What's your opinion on that? 
Yeah. After all, they are doing what men are doing. So okay. if, they, if they want to do that, it's fine. But Nigeria, I don't know <laughs> when that is going to happen. That means if they want to pay them, if they want to pay the current fuck on us, they still need to pay us for all the ones that we've played from the past. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But, but you want NFFs for both of them to receive the same pay? Yeah, at least. If not the same pay, something close, you know. Something closer that really makes sense. Not what they are giving them right now. Peanuts, you know. Our okay. time, we didn't make nothing. Even the guests right now, they are very lucky. They are making money, mm. you know. So I don't, I don't think you can compare what they normally give towards them and what they give them now. Okay. You know. And finally, um, I cannot but tell you congratulations to you and your husband for. Um, the newborn baby that the old world have been celebrating with you after six years of marriage. Tell us such an experience. Congratulations from you from Nigeria. But tell us how I have seen the all over the internet talking about this baby. Tell us how you feel and uh, the old scenario behind this wonderful. What's his name? Laju. Am I am I right? Yeah, Laju. Laju, Laju. Brian Odeli. Okay. <laughs> Tell us um, how you felt when this happened. It's, not, um, it's just, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm, I'm so joy, joy. I don't even know how to describe the joy in my heart for my baby right now. Because it's been a while, you know. A lot has happened, you know. It's not what I'm going to go into today. But him coming, you know, is just, it's just a miracle for me. And um, I wish every woman that is expecting something like this, you know, to be able to get their own too, because it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. So I just thank God for, for my son and for my husband that is really understanding, you know. It's not easy <laughs> to have an husband that is on your side that understand everything that you're going through, you know. So I don't even know what to say, but I, I am blessed to have this child. I'm grateful. <laughs> uh, we are grateful for you. We are thanking um, God yeah. for that. Yes, my last question. I, I didn't know this was coming. Are you going to position him to be a, a, a footballer like you? Oh, my son, definitely. Okay. <laughs> that is, um, we are going to see the male version of Patient Avery. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> when, <laughs> when the father... Was... Huh? <laughs> but you know, you he's, I mean, he's a guy. If he wants to decide what he wants to do, fine, but... It, for me, I would take him to like maybe try to play soccer a little. Bit. <laughs> okay, is the father is the father agreeing to the fact that he wants the son to be a, 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 a yeah, the dad agree, you know, the okay. dad will agree with that. Okay. He's already calling him the Palajo, so okay. let's see. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you very much, um, um, patient Every for giving us your time on today's program. Thank you so so much. I really appreciate. It. Thank you very much for waking me up this early. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know it was the, the time difference. We just um, appreciate yeah. your presence. Thank you very much. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. Extend yeah. a few things to the rest of the family. Oh, thank you. I will. Yeah. Okay. I will. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, that's um, patient Avery, and um, she's speaking to us from, from Chicago. And um, congratulations once again. Um, six years after marriage, she had her first. Um, child a baby boy and um, she's hoping that she wouldn't mind if the boy becomes a footballer like her this is all we could take on today's segment on 360 sport i'll take all our viewers across the globe for keeping in touch with us but you know that the, conti the discussion continues on all the social media platforms where we can get feedbacks notifications and um, responses to how you've been enjoying 360 Sport. Like I do say at the end of every program, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.